In this application video, we will cover three areas. How to set up and charge a battery. How to set up and discharge a battery while logging total ampere hours. And finally, how to build sequences of charge and discharge steps. A common application for DC power supplies and DC loads is for battery testing, where you can charge and discharge batteries. So at BNK Precision, we've created this BK Precision battery test software. With the software, you can do discharge tests and charge tests. Uh, to start with, what we're going to do first is make sure that the battery that we've got here off camera is fully charged. So I'll go to the charge test and open the control panel window for the charge test power supply. I've got a power supply selected here in the USB port. It says it's the 9200 series. I'll select that and click connect. There you can see we've got the 9201, the firmware version, the serial number, all of the power supply information is up here. Now to charge the battery, I need to tell the power supply at what voltage to set. So I'll say 13.7 volts for this and set a maximum current of 2 amps. You can go and set uh, over voltage protection and different limits, but we'll leave those where they're at. Now I need to set a stop condition. You can set a cutoff voltage or current or time. Uh, for power supplies here, I'm just going to set a time for 2 hours to charge that battery. And then once I click start, you'll see that the window here is logging the data over time. Time will continue to scroll off, and as it samples, you get more and more points, and this will start smoothing out. And down here on the bottom, you're able to see the current state. It's outputting 13.696 volts. Current is uh, right around 380 milliamps, and then the combined power. And it shows you your start time, and when the time stops, it'll be down here, and all of this information will be timestamped. Now that we've charged up our battery using the charge test, now we will do a discharge test where we'll use the load to measure the amp hour capacity of the battery. So I opened up discharge test, and now I'm going to find the load that's connected to the USB port and click connect. So you'll see we found a model 8600 with the firmware serial number, all of the ratings for that DC load. We're going to do a discharge current. I'm going to discharge it at uh, 200 milliamps. And this is a 7 amp hour battery capacity. And I'm going to set a cutoff voltage so that we don't over discharge the battery and damage it. In this case, I'm just going to set it for 10.4 volts. Now that all of those conditions are set up, we'll click start. On the top here, you'll see that it is now logging the current uh, discharge state of the battery. You've got uh, voltage, current, and power. The red line up here is saying it's pulling a 200 milliamps like we set, and you're able to see the voltage, and over time that voltage has continued to decrease down to 10.4 volts, at which point the software will automatically stop discharging the battery and will turn off the inputs of the load. Down here on the bottom window, you'll see as it charges over time, it'll calculate the amp hour capacity of the battery, which is uh, what I'm trying to figure out right now. Uh, the current state of the test is at 12.5 volts, uh, 200 milliamps, which is what we've set. And now you can see the power and this amp hour capacity will continue to go up over time. At the start time, stop time, everything else that will be stamped in the test, that we'll be able to retrieve uh, once it's done and it's logged all of the data. Okay, so now we've gone over the charge test and discharge test of the BK Precision Battery Test software. Now let's look at the sequence test program where you're able to set many parameters uh, be able to do a charge and discharge, run sequences and go through and test the amp hour capacity of a battery, uh, condition a battery, you're able to do a lot of things. So let's just take a look. Uh, I've already uh, selected the window for the sequence test program. This is what it looks like. In here I've already pre-populated this, so I'll go over what I've set up. Uh, the first uh, step is going to be to charge the battery up to 13.7 volts and uh, 2 amps. We're going to do that for two hours. Then we have a discharge test, which will discharge the battery at 200 uh, milliamps. And the stop condition I set as a voltage to protect the battery. It'll go down to 10.4 volts and then stop. Then go to the last step, which will be charge the battery again. So basically what I'm kind of simulating here is I'm going to do a full a charge, then discharge of the battery, and then charge it up again. So now the battery is ready to go once the test is done. And because it does take quite a while, um, I want to come back and be able to use that battery and then be able to see what is the actual amp hour capacity of that battery. Is it a good battery or bad battery? 
So I've already pre-populated that. Uh, I've gone through now and set those sequences. Down here, you see now I have to say, once my sequences are done, I'm going to start with the sequence one and end with three. So it's going to start with one and three up there, do a charge, discharge, and charge again. If I wanted, I could repeat the test, but for this, we're just going to have it not repeat. And I've saved it. I want to log the data, so I've selected this and told it where to save the file. Over here, you've got a battery ID. You might have a, a certain number or a serial number or internal lot number for your batteries. For our purposes, I just put it as a one. So this information will be on the report when it's done. So you've got a battery report for a specific battery. Now that everything has been set up for uh, this test, now I need to connect my DC load. So I'll go up here and select. And you'll see I found the 8600 and gave us a green light. Now I'm going to go over to the power supply and find the 9201. Now the load is connected. The power supply is connected. All of our parameters are entered. And if I click start, the program will now go and do a charge of the battery, then go and do a discharge of, of the battery, and then a charge of the battery, and then report and log all of that data. For more information, visit bkprecision.com.